All right, so let's get this construction video off to a quick start because you know what? Not much was going on today, which is so unfortunate. It looks like construction may be coming to a halt. It looks like they're pretty far ahead and they don't have much to do. This entire section of the park is now closed off and no vehicles can get in or out. This is the area of the park that they'll probably be working in until the Splashworks area closes. Um, so there wasn't much exciting going on in this area as well. Um, they just finished off the Canadiana theming. Um, and such. There were no digging. I know that they shut the water valve off, so that might be a good sign for more digging next week. Um, there are a few things we're going to go over in this video, um, so if you stay tuned past this construction update, I'm going to talk about a subject that is boggling my mind, and it is Canada's Wonderland's obsession with mine trains. So stay tuned for that because I'm literally confused for what this coaster is going to be themed to. We already have enough mine trains in the park. So stay tuned because this is a quick construction update. It's going to be done in about another 30 seconds to a minute. Um, so something interesting, the only interesting thing I saw on the site is this building. So this building is right next to the Timberwolf Path. It looks like it's going to be placed out sometime soon. I, I don't know when. Um, and it looks like they're hiding something on it. Like they have it really well covered up with tarp. Um, and we know that they use these buildings to post posters, so I'm thinking that there's going to be teasers, two posters, or one poster per side, and it's all covered up, and they might place it somewhere for guests to start interacting with their teasing campaign, which is super exciting. I've been wondering when it's going to start. I almost feel like the teaser campaign itself, as my YouTube channel covers this construction project. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for the park to officially kick it off. Um, there are a lot of construction fencing arriving, so that's another weird thing. So see all that? That's ready to go up. Um, <laughs> and I have no idea where they're going to put it. Um, I don't know if there's a whole other section of the park we don't know about yet, like maybe Whitewater Canyon's about to be fenced off a bit. Um, who knows? Because um, I already have all this area fenced off. So we'll keep an eye on that tomorrow. So now let's get into this in-depth discussion. What is this new coaster going to be themed to? I'm not going to do a debate between Ziz or Gold Rush. At the end of this video, there will be a hint to another video coming um, sometime next week that is that debate in itself. But I'm going to discuss today the mine train obsession that Canada's Wonderland has, or should I say Cedar Fair. So we have four rides that are currently somewhat themed to mine trains in some sort of way. You have your Wonder Mountain's Guardian, which you are literally getting in a mine themed train and then shooting up enemies inside the Wonder Mountain to protect the park. Um, then you have Thunder Run, where you aboard a mine train and go on an adventure through the mountain with a dragon protecting its gold. Then you have Mighty Canadian Mine Buster, which <laughs> is, I guess, you're aboard a mine train that's gone chaotic. I don't know the storyline there because there isn't one. Um, and then you also have um, other attractions like Vortex. And Vortex is an extremely interesting um, poster to talk about. So a lot of people are assuming, including myself, that this new coaster, let's assume Dive, is going to be themed to a mine train. Um, and that would make sense in a lot of ways. I mean, it's, you look at Oblivion um, and it, it's about diving into a, a mine shaft gone wrong or something and miners are missing and it, a, a dive coaster fits well into the dive, a dive coaster aspect and then you have the tunnel that looks like it's themed to a mine shaft that exploded or it's just a mine shaft of some sort who knows but you definitely have a um a mine theme going on in a lot of these coasters at the park um which is a very confusing um, so a Vortex was recently just rethemed this year to a mine coaster. So you definitely have that mine coaster look to it or mine cart look to the decal of the coaster itself, but it was not renamed or rethemed yet. And based off of conversations we've, we've had with a, a few park officials, it does sound like it's very possible that this coaster will be repainted and renamed for the 2019 season, which would then fit its out its like look appeal or its decal on the coaster for this new Canadiana area. And this is really interesting because then it's like, so there's four coasters in the park that are now currently themed to mine trains. Does that mean that this coaster coming in 2019 is going to be the fifth coaster in the park themed to a mine train? 
who knows? I'm certainly getting more and more confused the more I read into things, the more I look at things. Like, would they really go for a fifth coaster themed to a mine shaft or mine train or mine cart type of theme? I have no idea. What do you guys think? Do you think this is going to be a mine themed or gold rush themed ride? And what do you think Vortex's name is going to be in 2019 if it is renamed? I, I must say Vortex does not fit well with the current theming they are aiming for on this coaster now. Um, now let's get into my next video. So that conversation alone starts up this whole debate of Ziz versus Gold Rush. So we know that there's a bit of a teaser. We're assuming it's a teaser in the um, new Canadiana themed area in Whitewater Canyon and Timberwolf area. And um, it brings up this whole Gold Rush theme and for 2019. And then you have Ziz. Ziz has been around um, for the last like seven years at the park. You have Behemoth, you have a Leviathan. Um, and then one would assume you should have Ziz to complete the trio. The park is getting its third coaster and it's definitely going to be its top three coasters. So why not name it Ziz? So I'm going to discuss all of these possibilities in this video coming next week of Ziz versus Gold Rush and my thoughts and opinions. And I'm literally going to play devil's advocate on both sides. I really want to digest both arguments for what this coaster could be themed to, because I must say, with all of this evidence coming forward and uh, people messaging me um, other specific evidence and their theories, it does leave questionable debate of what this coaster could be themed to. Could they pull off Sizz with Canadian theming? Or are they just going to go down the Yukon Gold Rush route? Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, share the video, and comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.